in the beginning, the first two years, I started to try to get more hardware, more lanterns and more slides which you project and uh, where the storytelling uh, is helped by. Then I found out that collecting is a never-ending story. And I decided to try with my wife to give a Magic Lantern show ourselves. Because that's much more rewarding than only collecting for yourself and keeping everything behind the doors and behind the curtains in your own house. A magic lantern uh, that gives curiosity by other people and you can show it. And I try to, to combine uh, the magic lantern with all kinds of modern uh, electronics. The possibilities, even in this digital era, to keep the attention, to get the attention uh, of your audience in a dark projection hall and uh, people can't see what you exactly are doing. And that's the fascination because it's called Magic Lantern Show and that magic partly can be explained by you don't see what the lanternist is doing, but on the screen there happens incredible uh, events and all kinds of move, uh, movements are made with stills, with slides that can't move, but you can suggest the image of film. You create the magic uh, for the start of your performance, that you start your, your story uh, all with music or, so, or without music, and you come with your projections, and how that uh, audience uh, give a reaction on it, that, yeah, that's just like uh, any uh, stage player, you had to react also on your audience, and if you have an audience uh, that's reacting, you can also change uh, a part of your performance. So there is an uh, interaction uh, between your audience and yourself. The current scene of Magic Lantern shows in the Netherlands is, in a way, it has to do with the revival. Nowadays, with all cuts of budgets, museums, schools, and so on, don't have much means to pay you. So you get an allowance, but uh, the costs are much higher than what you earn. The relevance of the Magic Lantern for the future is hardly to be estimated. It goes and it comes and goes. It is connected to the interest or not of the audience for history, for uh, culture in former days. And about the future, I have one worry. The circle of lanternists is growing older and older and youngsters are interested in attending a show but there is not much enthusiasm to do this very intensive work. Collection is not for young people at the moment so uh, the collectors for Magic Lantern in Holland are also with a uh, <laughs> respectable age so, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a problem for future. What's the most rewarding nowadays is 
the meeting the audience and trying to get a very spoiled audience nowadays. They have everything and they know everything and they enter, oh, magic lantern, what, what is that? Uh, but then it's our fun and uh, our task to get them convinced by storytelling and to play as a lanternist, to play with the emotions of your audience. Uh, that's a very nice element of this hobby and convincing the audience that the entertainment and information which was given 200 years ago is still worth seeing and worth meeting. I feel the best afterwards if my audience comes to me and says that it was a nice performance, then I like it the most. <laughs>